Hey everyone, I'm Cara, I'm a PhD student who loves to cook and today I'll be teaching you how to make peanut butter banana cookies. So start with your ripe banana. So here I'm gonna use one and a half banana. So actually I wanted to use two, but kind of half of my banana was rotten. Not exactly rotten, but kind of very damaged. So I decided to just take it out. So I'm gonna use one and a half bananas here. So just add it into the bowl and start mashing. You can use a fork for that, but I'm gonna use this masher to help me. So do it, mash, mash, mash. So after doing that, we are gonna add our peanut butter. So I'm adding here 120 grams. So after that, we're gonna mix it very well to combine. The peanut butter sometimes can be a little bit uh, stiff, kind of solid, so you have to make sure that everything is well combined and mixed. So now we're gonna add our old-fashioned oats, 120 grams, so the proportion here is one to one. And in this point, you can also add a little bit of a sweetener of your choice, uh, like sugar or honey or even maple syrup. Mine is gonna be plain. Uh, but if you want it to be like a little bit sweet, that's the moment for you to add your sweetener of your choice. So looking good, I'm also going to add a touch of cinnamon just to taste. I think that's going to kind of make sense and the, the flavors um, are going to combine. So mix well to combine and now you're going to pour our cookies onto the baking tray. So I added already the parchment paper. So just with the help of a spoon, place your dough on top of your tray and try to make kind of a round shape. It does not need to be perfect because in the end of the day, you're going to eat it, right? But just try your best. So I think that for me is kind of looking good. Uh, already, I'm not too concerned about the shape. And now time for a little bit of chocolate chips that I had. So I'm gonna just put in half of the cookies. So bake that for uh, 25 minutes at 380 Fahrenheit. And you're gonna have delicious golden brown cookies after that. So time to taste. So it's looking good. Now it's not as crunchy because uh, I did not let it cool, but I'm sure that you're gonna enjoy after letting it cool.